Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Nothing too terribly exciting, but some fun finds. I'm hoping next week to get some of the things I've been seeing. But I'll show you what I got in no particular order. I grabbed one of these watering cans and I've already tried it and it works great. I was a little worried that it would be like floppy and spill water, but it doesn't. It holds a fair amount. If you've seen any of my vlogs, I have a lot of plants and this is helpful. And I like this. Um, some of my pots are smaller and I like the water flow through that. So I grabbed one of those and I also picked up two of these. Um, I'm using one now. I took that Dollar Tree, or it's not even the Dollar Tree brand, but the bird feeder that I found, and I have it hanging on my um, rain gutter. Don't tell my condo association, but it's out there. And the birds haven't come yet. It's been a week. Rude. But I grabbed one of these. I think I want to do one in the back as well. So these work perfect just to, hook, you know, hang stuff on. And I also grabbed one of these um, to hang out front. And I love that it comes with the screws. Um, I, around my entry, I have wood and I want to hang a planter this spring. So I grabbed just one of those. And then the last thing, I'm trash, that I picked up in the planting section was just one of these pots. Um, I liked that it feeds through the bottom. And it, um, so there's watering that can happen to itself. And if you over... Well, hello, Lori. If you overwater it, it will feed out the bottom. Of course, I just like got it stuck, but there's holes down there for drainage, and I like that. And if you overwater it, or you can actually, if you have root plants that water from, you water from the bottom, you can put the water in here, and it matches my living room. So I grabbed that. I think that's it for outdoorsy stuff. Um, I grabbed some aluminum foil. That's exciting, right? I was out of that. I'm just gonna organize a little here. I picked up two more of these scrubbies. I love them. Now, I will tell you, they last about a week for me. I use them all the time, but they'll last about a week and then they get, they start falling apart. But they do fantastic. They don't scratch my stuff, but they definitely get it clean. So I grabbed two more of the yellow those just to have on hand. I don't need a lot of cleaning product, but I do enjoy those for cleaning my pans and stuff. And then I picked up two of these um, colored pencils. So you really get 12, but they only take up the space of six. And for my little cousin, she's going to have a long flight coming up. I got one for her and her friend. I also picked up something else, but I thought this is perfect because it doesn't take up a lot of room in their carry-on. But it's something for them to have to keep them occupied. They're 13, 14. They're 14 now. And so I thought this would be good. You'll see in a second. But I liked the, it's a 12, but it only takes up the space of six because they're double-ended. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I found these. I don't think I bought these before. These are the rub-off transfers, but look at them. So some of them are just black and white, and then you have the colored cacti. And I thought these would be fun. I bet you could color them in after you rub them on something, like on a notebook or whatever. So we're gonna try putting it on a notebook and then coloring in the black and white ones. That would be fun, and my planner. And then these little designs down here would be nice to just decorate stuff. So I grabbed that for me. I don't typically buy a lot of stickers because I have a fair amount of stickers. But what's in here? Trash. I have trash. Because I opened some of the things already to utilize. And that would be the shampoo bars. So I did get three. I purchased the Berry Bliss, the Aragon Oil, and the Mango. I have the Mango in my shower. Does my hair look clean? I've been using it. It lathers so good, guys. I really am enjoying it. Now, here's the one thing I don't love. I need to find a conditioner bar. I use a conditioner every day. I tried without, and it just makes my hair feel too dry. Uh, but every shampoo does that. 
Um, yeah, and they come in the little travel tin, which is perfect if we ever get to go on vacation or leave our houses again. Speaking of, tomorrow at 10, I get my first vaccine. In Ohio, they opened it up to 50 and above. So I got my appointment scheduled. I'm super excited. Um, anyway, I love these a lot and they smell divine. Now I looked online, they do sell this brand at Walmart for $3.97. So we're getting a good deal. Here, we'll do a thumbnail without my face and with my face, how about that? So yeah, these are great. Um, I'm telling you, if you have people in your life, this would be a great stocking stuffer or a small gift, especially if you have people who like to travel. They don't weigh as much as regular shampoo. You clearly get more. And if they're going carry on on an airplane, this does not count as a liquid because it's dry. It's solid. And it has a tin. Just saying, perfect travel. Like if, I would love that as a gift, as a traveler. Then I found, this is straight up for me, Disney Princess Scented Lip Balm. Um, here, I'll take it out. And I don't need any more dang lip balms, I can tell you that, but it was a Disney princess. And they had Frozen, they had Anna, or Elsa, I think it was Anna, but the more mature looking Anna. Um, and then they had some other, other ones, but and it's just tiny, but let's see, it says it's scented. Ooh. I don't know what that scent is but it's delicious berry oh <laughs> so it's like clear and it's berry oh how fun is that okay i enjoyed that a lot it reminds me way of my 1980s you remember bonnie bell brand stuff that's what it reminds me of the bonnie bell lip gloss Totally in the 80s, early 90s. So love this. It's fun. Great Easter basket thing too. Um, I only got two things I think of candy. Uh, for the nephew, I got him the Harry Bow Sour Streamers. And there's a lot in here. I think you get four of each flavor. So four and four, 16. It says there's... 15 pieces, but I don't know. I 15 servings. Oh, five pieces is a, yeah, 15. I don't know. I counted 20, but whatever. So yeah, isn't that neat? Or 16 I counted. And it is sour streamers, sour blue raspberry, sour orange, sour cherry, and sour apple. I thought that would be fun for his Easter bag. He gets a bag because he lives three and a half hours away, so I'll send it home with his mom. But I got him some candies and stuff too. So I grabbed him that, and then I grabbed him one of these because who doesn't love Reese Peanut Butter Cups? And it's a five pack. I thought that was a decent price for a dollar. Although I feel like maybe the grocery stores had six packs for a dollar, but I grabbed that for him for his Easter bag because Easter, guys. Oh, I did have one more thing. I grabbed a new one of these this year. They were pretty good. I've had them in the past. Um, I left it out last winter and I'm assuming it broke because it froze. I didn't leave the hose out, but I left my sprayer. I found it in the bush. Oops. So I grabbed one of these. I like the soaker function. There's one that it just like soaks and I like that for my outdoor plants in the spring. So I grabbed that, fun color. And then I picked up these. I see them, you know, fairly regularly at my store. Um, they're great for skewers, but I actually use them for crafting a lot. Mostly I use them to stir paint down in those tall bottles, especially if I need to add water to get like loosen up the paint. This length is perfect for that. So I have like a vase, one of the Dollar Tree. Oh, there's Alex. One of the Dollar Tree um, glass vases. And I just leave these sitting in it in my craft room. And when I need to do something that requires this shape. I mean, there's a million things you can do with these just off the top of my head. I use them to stir paint. 
and these are just the skewers and you get a hundred pieces for one dollar um if you were going to cook with these i think you need to soak them first in water yeah you soak them in water for an hour before using but i don't i mean i would use them for skewering but i don't i just use them for crafting so i could but i don't i know right um crafty tags I like these for gift bags. These are cardboard, so they're not like overly hard, but I use these with my white marker for gift bags. Um, is great, obviously labeling things, gift tags, but I love them for their simplicity and they don't scream any holiday. I can use them whenever I like. I know, right? Cool, huh? So I just pick them up on occasion. I have some, but I didn't have the round and I wanted them. For that oh and yesterday what's today today you're seeing this on Tuesday but on Sunday Wellington turned 13 years old oh my baby he's getting so old oh and he had a treat I got him um, well his dinner <laughs> and then I busted out a piece of sausage and let him have some of this um, like kibasa I just break it up into little pieces and let him have it he likes it he likes it. He does. Um, I grabbed some of this. I really like this, this grape flavor. I really like the grape flavor and fruit punch are two, my two favorites. And cherry. Oh, I love cherry. Um, I have yet to see cherry at the Dollar Tree, but I get it at Dollar General for $1. But I picked up the grape because I like it. Um, these are great light bulbs, but they do some really weird thing. When they're getting ready to burn out, they start flashing, which scared me. <laughs> the other day I was like, why is my light flashing? And then I realized I needed a new light bulb. But, I mean, does it say so on here? And I don't think it lasts 8,000 years or 22,000, 25,000 hours, but... I don't know that it says anything about blinking, but it did. It started flashing on and off, and I was a little freaked out, but then I figured it out. So I picked up a replacement because the one over here now is flashing at me. Okay, so this is what I got for the girls for their trip. Um, these are the little coloring books. I thought the inside would be fun, like match the cover. It doesn't. The inside are all pretty geometric in shapes like a mandala. Uh, but the covers are different. So for their little bags, I'm going to give them each a little mini coloring book and some color pencils. And while they're on the plane, if they get bored, they can, you know, color or at the airport or whatever in their room. If they have to go in at a certain time and they are bored, give them something to do. So I thought these would be fun. And they're pretty compact. So there was that, that reasoning behind it that I think it will fit if they want to take it in their little carry-on bag. If they don't, I'm not that pressed for it, you know? It is what it is. Uh, next week is dinner with my coworkers, and my friend's son loved the color forms I got him before, so I grabbed him this one, which is the Space. I remember these and loved them as a child, and I think little Brecken loved them too. So I grabbed him this Space one, and it has space girls and space boys and oh can you see it is it gonna those are all of the um clings that it comes with so for a dollar like that's a great little busy activity and i remember when my nieces were little or younger and we would go on like a trip or whatever i would always get a bag for each of them like a new backpack or a, some type of bag usually like the drawstring backpacks and i would fill it full of depending on their age but stuff like this that they didn't know was in there and if we were on a long car ride then they could pull things out and it was new it was all new things to them and so they weren't bored you know it was just different things that they had not seen before so we did that. I would do that for the girls, especially for long road trips. This was something I've not seen. Gelato lip balm. Again, do I need more lip balm? No, but this is, it looks like mint chocolate chip. So we're gonna open this one too, because it's for me. Now I will tell you the EOS of these, I don't like. 
it makes my lips dry. But let's see if I can get this open. Maybe not. Is it? Ah, yes. Okay, that does not smell like mint chip. Okay, there's the mint. Um, it smells like mint floor cleaner, mm, but it feels nice. I mean, I'm not getting mint. I'm getting mint cleaner, but it doesn't feel like mint cleaner. <laughs> it's cute. It's fun. They had different flavors and it feels nice. Like it feels very moisturizing, even over the lip gloss. It feels nice. So that could go in a little travel kit too. I did not get the girls that because I got them um, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter with the 15 SPF for their bags because they're going down near the equator. So they will need that. Um, just a couple more little items. I ran across these at my store, these bath bombs. If you're a bath bomb, I'm not a bath bomb. If you're a bath sponge kind of person, what the heck are these called? Yeah, bath sponges. This is like so thick and luxurious. Like this is a good, I would say I would pay three or four dollars for this delicate, the bathery, live, laugh, lather. Uh, definitely not a Greenbrier product. They only came in pink and purple, but they are so thick and nice and they just feel very substance. The Dollar Tree ones sometimes are kind of flimsy. This is definitely not a Dollar Tree one. So I grabbed an extra because I use them and I try to replace them about once a month. I don't know what kind of bacteria grows in these things when they're hanging in your shower. So I try to replace them about once a month. And then the last item that I picked up, and I grabbed two of these, one for me and one for Sarah. I'm putting her Easter basket together in this. She loves the Disney princesses, but this is like the Disney princesses who are grown up. This is like they grew up with her. So they're a little more mature, which I love. And she loves all these. And this has just the white, the white sides. It is a Disney princess brand. It's just a regular, you know, bag. It has the white on the sides and the princesses on the front and back. And she will love it. So what I will do is put her little Easter basket tote down inside of this bag. And then she can have this to do with what she should, whatever she should choose to do. But I know she will appreciate all the, the older, more mature princesses. And I grabbed two. I threw off mine away, but I do like to have these in my car for, you know, if I'm going into a store or whatever. So that was it today. It was very eclectic. I didn't put up a uh, video yesterday. I had the worst sinus headache. It's uh, Right now it's hailing and raining and it has been on the verge of rain for the past two days. No sinus infection. That's cleared up. I've been feeling great other than yesterday all day long i had a sinus headache and i just didn't have it in me to edit the video and i didn't really have good footage because i was kind of like Bleh. so maybe i'll have another haul this week or a different video up thursday's the giveaway so don't forget to go back to that video where i announced the giveaway and make sure you like that and uh, leave the comment if you want to be entered into that giveaway i'm going to be doing the drawing announcement on thursday at two o'clock all right, everybody, I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye.